ETN at technophilespodcast.com. I'm David Geisler, and this is the Technophiles Podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to part two of tonight's show. This is episode 282. All right, we are back from the break, and I think it's time for Crystal Lee to tell us what the heck is going on. You made that sound more dramatic than the story. I just thought like make be. it really dramatic. Oh, that's yeah. cool though. Well, maybe if you're into politics. Um, so I came across the announcement that uh, President Barack Obama was starting a Snapchat account. What? what? Um, now this probably shouldn't be too much of a surprise, right? I mean, he was the first president on Twitter and mm-hmm. Facebook and everything else, which is perhaps a little unfair to all those presidents when Twitter and Facebook didn't exist. Thing, yeah. Right? yeah, you're right. It could have um, been anybody, to be honest. True. But I mean, Facebook has been around since before his administration, for example. So mm-hmm. it's okay. not like yeah. there wasn't some opportunity for him to not be the first. But he was. He was mm-hmm. the first. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to say, I was... a slightly surprised that he got on snapchat considering how many dirty jokes surround snapchat yeah i was a little surprised that snapchat's still a thing yeah yeah Yeah. i don't want to put a negative tone here because let's talk about it no but i honestly i was like oh you got snapchat i was like oh people still do that um i'm being a jerk right now no no no, no, you're you're not and that's so I've had a lot of conversations about social media lately. Obviously, yeah. this is like part of what I do right. professionally outside of Technophiles. Um, and there's there's a lot of platforms out there that depending on who you talk to, what demographic they're in or what kind of things they're into, they will have that same response. Right. Of, I didn't know X was a thing. You have whole demographics there, of people not using There's demographics where they go, whatever. oh, Twitter still matters. There's demographics where they go, oh, Vine still matters. There's right. demographics where they say, oh, Snapchat still matters. Yeah. I mean, we get it. Like, and that's right. the thing is these things permeate into the cult, into those demographics that they need to. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And, and by demographics... And I'm fine with that. Yeah, and it's not necessarily just like an age thing. Sometimes it is where right. you, you have a clear thing of like, oh, people in this age group. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's also just a question of interest, region. Right. Absolutely. In different places, different yeah. things are more popular, mm-hmm. which is... Um, you know, something I've come into contact with having lived in Asia and then come home and there's yep. certain things that are really popular out there that people here just don't use. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just speaking this weekend with someone and they were saying like, oh, I started Twitter, but I just don't really use it anymore. I just couldn't get anything out of it. And I realized like, oh, well, Twitter is really good if you're subtly promoting something and want to have conversations with people. Sure. And they were coming from an Instagram thing. They said, my Instagram is amazing, but I just don't bother with Twitter. Huh. And they said, right. they said, well, Instagram is pictures, and I like that. And Twitter is the opposite of that; it's just text, no pictures. And I was like, well, that's. Uh, that, I thought yeah. to myself, that's not actually true at all. But if that's where you're coming from, I yeah. respect that. And mm-hmm. well, and you that, know, that and might be indicative of who they happen to be following. Wanted to be following, so, and so for that person, and I'm right. not making fun of them, but for that person, right. they wanted to take a picture of the cinnamon bun that they had mm-hmm. that morning. They right. didn't want to tweet delicious cinnamon bun this morning. Right. That's fine. And that's totally fine. And actually, it's it's funny that you say that because um, when I have asked people. Why don't you use X thing? Mm -hmm. Whether it's Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. When somebody tells me they don't use a certain one and then I ask them why, um, there are certain like stock answers that I've I've discovered, I learned, right? And one of them is, well, I don't really care what anyone had for breakfast. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's really interesting because on, let's just say Twitter and Facebook, because I use them more than my other social media, Mm -hmm. um, I never see pictures of anyone's breakfast. Right. Which is why I say this is indicative of who you follow and who your your peer group is. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I agree. And there's and, a slight responsibility to like, it seems silly to say this. Of course, you're in control of who you follow, but there's a, maybe a little bit of like, I do know that on Twitter or even on Facebook, if there's someone that's just putting enough stuff on there that I'm kind of like, I don't know if I need this in my feed. Like right. I unfollow. Yeah, I sure, unfriend. Exactly. Sure. Not as it's a, a process. Not, as a, not to be mean. It's just like, right. I don't need this. And actually Facebook even gives you the whole thing where you can stay friends, but just have them not show up. Right. Yeah. You can literally right. unfollow. I kind of like that actually. It's nice. It, it takes, it's a commitment to sit, you know, to, to put the time into it, to figure out, yes, no, I like this. I don't like this. Right. And to cater that to yourself just to fine tune it, to get it the way you want it. But it's one of those things some... where if, if you do it over the course of a couple months and you slowly kind of say yes, yeah. no, yeah. yes to that, no to that. You, can... you see me going like this, like it was yes. Tinder or something? It was on accident. <laughs> but you can get but... a really satisfying experience if you put in yes. that time. So I want to bring yes. it back to the yeah, president yeah, yeah. real sorry, quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. And maybe, and I don't know for sure if you were surprised for the same reason I was, but when I saw that the president is on Snapchat, um, the stock answer for Snapchat, if I ask somebody why they don't use Snapchat and they say, well, it's good for nothing but porn. 
So like there's the stigma there, about right. There's yeah. the stigma that Snapchat is used for dirty pictures. Right. Mm-hmm. Now I have Snapchat and again maybe it's because it's the people I follow. The, the snaps that I get from people are um, their cats uh, and comic books are the two like people Snapchat pages out of a comic book that they're reading. But you can't read it in time. Uh, well, there's, you get like five seconds, right, or ten seconds. You can it? change. You you control if it's going to be like I think it's one second. Five seconds or ten, ten seconds. Or 20. Yeah, whatever it's a it is. slider from one to ten. Right. Huh. So you can change it, and usually it's something like somebody is showing me like one specific square, not a whole. Uh, comic I just book don't page. get it. If they wanted to share that square with you, why don't they take a picture and text it to you? Then you can look at it longer. Yeah, maybe they just Doesn't don't make deem any it. sense to me. I, I I don't I don't like unless it's <laughs> cheeky. Unless you're sending something cheeky, like why? Well, and it, okay, so so re, and sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Sometimes I don't know why people snap the things they do to me. But for example, one of the most recent comic book ones I got was because this was a early English translation of a Japanese comic. Yeah. Right? And so what we were doing is I was seeing these pictures of uh, bad English, right? Right. Yeah. Of, of English, um, and so that's why it was right. But it's still because of that because of the stigma despite the fact that my friends are not sending me dirty pictures i still had that idea in my head of well snapchat is for dirty pictures yeah and so that is still then my first thought is when i'm like obama's on snapchat that seems dangerous yes <laughs> dangerous but of mm-hmm. course during the break me and v were looking over obama's snapchat mm-hmm. and of course there's nothing dirty on it right, right? Yeah, it's, right, it's a right, bunch right. of backstage yeah but um, which is cool it's interns like running yeah, around interns, which i really yeah. like and yeah. i actually was watching some of that i overlooked and saw some of that mm-hmm. too when you girls were looking and i thought to myself oh that just feels like a tumblr thing not a snapchat yeah. thing but well because snapchat and i'm not sure do you use snapchat so i've had i've had snapchat three times in my life and usually <laughs> okay. it's like yeah. you download it for a couple of years now, it's been out. In full disclosure, like maybe you start talking to some girl or something and sure. they are all about it. Sure. You go, okay, I guess I'll interface that way. That's how they want to do this. Mm-hmm. And then you do it for a few weeks and it's just like, I can't take this. And, you, and then I delete it again. And then I sure. try it again for someone else. And mm-hmm. for, me, for me, no. I think I feel like uh, I like their stories which is what me and V were looking at, right? Yeah. Where it's not. It's not the five second picture. So I want to point it's this the, out. Like the last time I personally used Snapchat, because I want to actually, I actually think this is cool. I want to be very clear. I think it's it's good and cool that mm-hmm. that this is happening. Um, the last time I used Snapchat, there wasn't anything beyond like you push that button, you see someone's cat with a mustache drawn on it for five seconds, and you're right. done, and your life is not improved at all. Right. Um. Obviously, it's expanded from that. So yes. what it, did you it girls experience? Certainly has. Um, so one of their new features that I think has been added since you've been on is they will have special events that they will be like Snapchatting live from and it'll gather all of like the better, like more viewed That's Snapchats cool. yeah. together and put them in one big story related <clears throat> to that. So what Stories. we were watching was actually right. the State of the Union uh um, event live one mm-hmm. um, and I think that was because there were Snapchats coming in from different people from different parts of the country and right. cool. um, not just the White House so it kind of curates this whole narrative of like this is how that event's going you get like a feel for what it's like being so there. at that point what's the difference between Snapchat and Vine and if there isn't a difference that's okay I'm just saying um, at that point because that sounds great I, I think having it Vine's... all put together is is, I would Snapchat say a bit is ten different. seconds. Vine is seven seconds. Snapchat does put these things together, which yes. seems great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if I could like do search vines for some you know CES or something. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Now you can in vines you can do the hashtag just like Twitter and whatever. Yeah. That's a little different though. This sounds but, cool. But yeah. vine, okay, so now I haven't done that myself. You haven't done the, the vine. Yes, uh, and so now I'm wondering if I understand this correctly, but I think those are permanent. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yes. Snapchat still is not. But mm-hmm. except unless no. until it pops up in a story? Uh, well, the no. stories, I think, only last 24 hours. Yeah, they last as long as whatever Snapchat Okay, so Snapchat is now last. pretending that it's Periscope and Vine mixed together. That's what it sounds Ooh, like. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Which is fine. Actually, if that I had, on, I had yeah. not thought of it that, is but that, that is a good way to describe it. Yeah, it is that kind of um, exclusivity of, like, it's happening in, in the now, mm-hmm. and it, it won't be here forever. Right. Right. But it has um, the ability to be viewed 
later than at that point up to maybe a day i mean frankly i'm i'm pleased if snapchat is maturing a little bit mm-hmm. yeah no uh, i think so especially since since v actually already kind of mentioned it I don't know what my phone is. When I use my thumb, it doesn't want to yeah, recognize my thumb. But my finger is You were fine. swiping it across your screen like no. three times to get it to move. Sorry, I'm tangent, tangent <laughs> no, on okay. my iPhone. Um, so, right, as V mentioned, in the state of the when we're recording right now, the State of the Union is starting in about five minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this, isn't, actually, this, this particular episode, because we had to actually record on a different night tonight, this isn't coming out for a couple days. R- yeah, right. Or, so in other words, when people off. are hearing this, we recorded this a few days ago. Right. Um, so... And this was this was obviously thought out of ahead of time. So yesterday is when the Snapchat account was created. Yep. And it was even in the press release, they specifically said, we will be Snapchatting from the State of the Union. So sure. this was a publicity stunt to bring the two together. And frankly, I think it was a great idea and it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. You know, I am not sure I would have known the State of the Union was tonight if it wasn't for the fact that there was a press release telling me that the president <laughs> has Snapchat. Which is, and, and if that's what it does, that's great. Yes. Mm-hmm. And now to add, to kind of go in that direction with the tech a little bit, um, that the what I've been reading w- mentioned other social media, right? So now the president is on like everything now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the State of the Union is also being broadcast on YouTube, um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And oh. YouTube Whoa. usually does um, live broadcasts of the any of the um, State of the Unions and the debates. I'm, okay, so I'm trying to find this real quick. Uh, this will be streaming on Amazon Video as well as the White House website and YouTube. Oh. Um, <clears throat> but again, trying to reach a, a bigger audience and a different mm-hmm. audience, really, because yeah. a, again, um, and I'm not even like that young by which i mean like i'm not a high school student i know like my mom teaches middle school so she talks about kids these days right like i'm not a middle school high school student even so i barely ever watch network television Mm -hmm. and that's where traditionally you one would watch the state of the union right but all of a sudden you know it's on youtube it's on amazon streaming all of the state Um, of unions that i've watched in the past like three years have been from from youtube yeah, yeah, actually, I think... In fact, the Barack Obama-Mitt Romney debate I watched on YouTube. It, back then, I had to take my <laughs> iPhone 3GS, plug it into a cord, put the red, white, and yellow into my TV, <laughs> and I watched it on my TV, streaming oh, wow. to live YouTube to my 3GS iPhone. Holy smokes. Yeah, so so most of my adult life, like since moving out of my parents' house, I have not had television. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. the, only time, the only time I ever watched... A political anything on regular television. I mean, like over the air or cable right, or whatever. Right, over the air was. Analog. There's, there's only been two, it. and both times was because there was a viewing event in the common rooms of the dorms. Oh. And so I went sure. to the common room in the dorms to watch with these other people. But when I've watched by myself, it's always been yeah, same thing. Something. On the computer, mm-hmm. whether it's been YouTube or right. a direct website or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's really it's really smart. So Snapchat's not trying to they're the, what what they're trying to do with their Snapchat account chat account is they're not trying to have it take the place of, for example, the State of the Union tonight. Mm-hmm. No. They're trying to hopefully drive people to it. Yes. Is yeah. What I'm thinking. The way I kind of am seeing it is where maybe for like televised events you have like a pre-show for it and you have a bunch Mm -hmm. of people sitting around gossiping or whatever this is kind of the equivalent to that but it it like builds excitement for that event but it's still you know it's still connected to the internet it's still presented in a very youthful way i will admit what i saw you girls watching felt fairly authentic Yes. Yeah, like it I feel felt like real. They, yeah. I don't it didn't think they feel were. Hammy. I don't think they were like re- designed or anything. I think they just took a couple kids or interns that they trusted. Yeah. yeah. And said, "Go do this." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like it, the intern was like outside of the White House and yeah. saw the saw the limo and she's like, "Oh, it's where Barack Obama's gonna ride." And then mm-hmm. it's like the POTUS and um and Michelle like walking it to the car together and it's really cute. And, and you even saw like uh like Paul Ryan fixing his tie and yeah. getting ready. Senators um, like giving shout outs and stuff. Right. I yeah. think like a, there was a couple seconds of like McCain running yeah. into Bernie in the in the in the hallway, in the hallway or something. Thank yeah. you. Um mm-hmm. uh, you That's know, cool. You know, it, it is really cool. Yeah. It, it, and you know what? It, it makes these people seem a little more human. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? I mean Just, obviously on an intellectual right. level I understand that they are all people. Mm-hmm. 
but, but but no no but they're but they're icons they're exactly yeah. they are icons in a way that like you guys aren't as you sit mm-hmm. here in front of me right. and i yeah. know that you are people like, i mean these... i mean v's pretty important <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> but, but also, because they also capture that excitement and going, you know what it reminded me of? You ever watch like a, um, a, a video made of a like uh, music group tour? You know what I'm talking about? Where they'll have like the behind the scenes. Oh yeah, before... they're like goofing off backstage. Yeah, yeah. Or like they're in the tour bus. Yeah. You always have those like... Maybe a half hour of that before you actually get to the video of the yeah. actual concert. That's what this reminded me of. Ooh, that's totally it. Yeah, I'll go with that. This is this is the the rock. No, I get it. I get it. Do you, do you think just as, we're going to go to break here in a minute? But just based on pure speculation, do you think this is this is not a loaded question? I'm asking for real. Do you mm-hmm. think this is helping, yeah. or is it not doing anything? Do you think the people that are on Snapchat are doing this are going to go? Oh, yeah, let's go tune in. I don't know the answer right now. So I I actually think that this is helping. And I and it's not even just about Snapchat. Snapchat's a part of this. Right. But I think Barack Obama has changed the game with technology use for presidents. And this is extremely important, especially because I know when you when you talk to people it seems to me roughly especially when you go like for the under 40 crowd Mm -hmm. which is also the people that you are really um talking to with the technology yes they are so disillusioned with politics and so many people talk about just voting for the lesser of two evils which is like a horrible Mm -hmm. way to really think about your own politics right? Mm -hmm. right barack obama is really opening up and engaging to that under 40 crowd in a way where this is beyond just the lesser of two evil it's like look you can be engaged in the political process yeah and i think that that is a game changer what i do like is i've worked for a couple marketing companies where like they say like oh we need a twitter account it's going to increase sales 50 percent and then your company starts a Twitter account for them. And yeah. then three months later, yeah. they have not increased their sales 50% mm-hmm. because it's obviously a much bigger picture than that. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, oh the, the Twitter magic wand didn't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. I do kind of respect that this Snapchat thing, I asked earlier, and I asked it on purpose, mm-hmm. um, do you think it's driving people to the State of the Union tonight? I think what I think the answer to that is, who cares it's making more people realize there was a State of the Union tonight. Yes. yes. And I think that's actually a good thing. I'm not that's, making fun of yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know? And then they can go check it out on Hulu tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right, like, I'm, is... a, I'm actually kind of excited to watch it now. Like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you get a little bit of that good. behind the scenes. Yeah. It's, right. it's the DVD extra features in reverse. Yeah. Like yes. You get it first <laughs> to whet the appetite yeah. into... You uh, see the behind the scenes before you see the movie. Yeah. Right. Which also already makes it, you know, humanized. Right. Obviously, That's none cool. of us are watching it live as we're all sitting right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen in moments. But, but now I know that it's happening because mm-hmm. of Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is cool. And so I was a little bit of the, uh, I was a little bit of the, uh, the downer tonight here with talking about this. But, like, ultimately, I think this is a great thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's very interesting. Oh, maybe it's maybe you want to download Snapchat again and check it out. Do it. Maybe, again, and now here's the thing. Like we were just saying, like it all depends on who you follow. Maybe I was just right. using Snapchat with people that were not in the same interest spectrum that yeah, I was. Sure. Mm-hmm. You Is do. that the nice it's, way of saying it? It's another it? thing that you have to refine and cater to yourself. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. It very much is. It's true. All of these social media, we'll, I'll say this and then we'll go to break. Every single one of these social platforms from Facebook, all the way from Facebook, all the way to Snapchat and 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 Vine and Twitter and everything in the middle, Tumblr, all of it, at the end of the day, they really are just metaphors for the human experience. And so they are what you make them to be. There's no single, you can't really, no person can ever really blame a service for it being good or not. It's kind of like, well, not saying that you're using it wrong, but maybe it's, you know, maybe you just haven't quite found, you know, it's like, it's like, going into a room full of people and be like, oh, this room, <laughs> this room is just nothing but people I don't like. Well, maybe you didn't have to like walk into that room, yeah, pick a different right. room yeah. or walk into that room in a different way, right? Like, yeah. I think we get this, right? Right. No, but that's actually a really good metaphor. Because or actually, I think if I'm, I want to, I'm going to say this before you say that, a better metaphor is like the, what the malls were in the 80s. Like people would go and you'd walk past people you appreciated, you'd walk past people you didn't, mm-hmm. you'd be exposed to people you didn't like, you'd be exposed to people that excited you. Mm-hmm. I think like a mall is kind of like a decent social metaphor and I'm sorry I interrupted. What were you going to say, Chris Lee? Uh, no, what I was going to say is that I, I liked the room metaphor because in we'll that, that example, nobody blames 
the room itself, right? Nobody walks up to the wall and says, this is a shitty party because <laughs> this is a bad room, right? But well, I mean, that's what it. I'm saying. I think the people that say like, I don't like Twitter because I just don't want to see pictures of burritos. Right. That's the person that's yelling at the wall. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. And that's why I think it's a good, because I think people who say I don't like Twitter because I don't like the picture of the food. Mm-hmm. Or, they or don't, Instagram or whatever. I think they don't realize they're yelling at the wall. Right. Ex- yes, exactly. Yeah. Facebook t- Facebook down. It's all. It's how it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, uh, we really uh, opened you up some new... You cracked the code. <laughs> we laid some good ground tonight. I like I this. Think. This was good. Mm-hmm. I, think I, I think I might have to show this to one of my classes. Don't yes. yell at the wall. Yeah. Don't yell at the wall. Crystal Lee, if people want to use the room to chat with you, they can find you on Twitter at... They can find me at Twitter at uh, GamerAnthro. Gamer Anthro and Miss V Lobs. Yeah, they can find me on Twitter at bear underscore Annika. If they, Fantastic. Yeah, I can't think of a funny quip to go before that. No, I, almost, I tried to make a Snapchat yeah. joke for Do you want to yell at the wall with me? Hit, hit me up. <laughs> well, I know what the vine is for this episode now. <laughs> Score. Yes. Oh, it's going to be so funny. But please don't yell at your teacher. We love when people tweet the show at Technophiles Pod or find us on iTunes, Facebook, and Stitcher by searching Technophiles Podcast. Of course, you can always go to our actual website where you can check out past episodes of this show or some of our show notes for this episode here at technophilespodcast.com uh, or look at some of our other shows that we do at TPN, which is starting to get up there. Mm-hmm. Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Branching Dialogue, which is all about video games. We've got The Tabletop Test Shop, which is all about board games. Sci-Fi Science, which is all about science fiction stories. Ooh. We got a lot of them out there in the old TPN universe these days. And you can go to our website, technophilespodcast.com, if you're interested in checking any of those out. Or, of course, you're probably seeing us on YouTube right now. Check out some of our other shows. In the meantime, you can tweet me, David Geisler, on Twitter at RapturePaint. <laughs> <laughs>